Why does my lighting look so weird today? It's um, earlier than usual, so maybe it's because it's dark outside. Good morning, muffins. It's Shuri. I'm having coffee with cashew milk and coconut whipped cream. So that this is two smart points. It's a smart point per tablespoon. It's so freaking good. I really wish that it wasn't two smart points though because why? <laughs> I know the algorithm of, of, of the Weight Watchers, um, but each tablespoon, no, two tablespoons is only 30 calories. So each tablespoon is 15 calories. So why is, is that a point? I just kind of feel like I just kind of feel like that's not fair. It's so good though. I could eat this coconut whip as like, like an ice cream. It's it's a double shot. So today I don't really know what's going on. Um, I kind of want to go thrifting because I haven't gone by myself in a really long time. Um, me and my husband usually go together, and we. The thing is, when my husband comes with me, it's limited on what I can get because then he's like, "You don't need that," or "We need to get stuff for the shop." Um, but I also got my lady time yesterday, so I also don't feel good. I kind of don't want to do anything at all. So we'll just see. My my half of me wants to go out. My other half of me does not. So we'll see uh, who wins. My uterus or me. I went to the doctor yesterday. Um, <sighs> doctors. <laughs> um, he's a new doctor for me. He's very nice. He's my husband's doctor. Um, he's very nice. And he made a lot of sage points and and suggestions so I'm gonna listen to him um, <laughs> I have to go see a specialist and I'm not gonna get into it because honestly my my health and stuff is just so wacky I can't even I don't even understand it half the time um, but basically he told me to quit taking all supplements so I don't have my um, whatever that stuff is I put in my coffee I don't have it in here um, I'm not taking any vitamins, I'm not taking any probiotics other than, than uh, kombucha, he said is fine. Like ones that are naturally occurring in food is fine. Um, and he told me to start eating gluten. <laughs> um, he says that he thinks that the other doctor told me prematurely to quit gluten and that could be causing me to have reactions because I'm not gluten intolerant and so if you cut something out of your diet and then you eat it you feel sick. Plus, he said if I am having symptoms from gluten, he wants me to be having them um, at least in a mild dose when I go and see the specialist. So, um, yay, I get to eat gluten. <laughs> um, I ate a little bit yesterday. I didn't feel I didn't feel anything super bad. It's also really hard to tell because I got my lady times. So, like, I already don't feel good, so I can't. I don't know. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I'm just not going to talk about it until I have an answer because I feel like I'm always like, oh, I'm doing this. Oh, I'm doing that. Like, I'm trying this, I'm trying that, and it's just experimental, and I'm not a doctor, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, um, just, I'm just not going to talk about it. I'm just going to eat what I eat until I have some solid, solid doctoral uh, diagnoses. The whole reason I brought that up is because I have been craving saltine crackers and um, Chick-fil-A, just all of Chick-fil-A. So, I'm going to take some points today, and I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A, and I'm going to get... Um, then my points and eat some Chick-fil-A and then when I go to the store I'm gonna get some saltine crackers and I'm gonna eat some today. Sorry we didn't have a muffin chat on Monday. I just wasn't feeling very good. Um, and I just, when I'm not my sparkly self, I just feel like I don't really want to talk to anybody. Um, <laughs> plus who wants to sit there and watch, you know, me going, I don't feel good. Uh, you know, no fun. Uh, so we didn't have chat on Monday, but uh, hopefully we'll have it on next Monday. But if you missed it on Friday, I'm down 1.7 pounds, or I was. I don't know if I am now. Um, what do you think, Bob? But I had a good weekend. We didn't uh, cheat or anything. Did we cheat? <laughs> no, we stayed in all weekend. Um, I did use my weeklies, as some of the, half of them this weekend, on, on dairy-free um, ice cream. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, so we did pretty good this weekend. Nothing major in the food department. Exciting news, I did film the first half of my kombucha video this weekend. I have to edit it, um, put an intro onto it because I want to explain some things about kombucha to you guys, but uh, to, do, to do that I have to put on makeup, which is a lot of work right now. Um, <laughs> and uh, hopefully that'll be up this weekend and then I'll film the second part this weekend and have that up the next one. Sorry, our shower is loud. 
Um, I split it into two parts because it is it just has a lot of like steps. It's not hard, but there's just a lot of steps, a lot of like reasons for doing steps that I want to mention and that kind of thing. So I just split it into two. Um, and that way it'll be easier for you to follow, hopefully, because it's really those kind of videos are hard for me to do, instructional videos where it's, um, I don't know, those are just harder for me for some reason. It's not like a cook with me because there's like little, it's not like, oh, let's put this together and it makes cake. It's like, here's the reason you have to do this because if you don't do this, this could happen and it's by it. And then if you do this, it can be by it, you know, so it just makes me nervous. But I did do it. It will be up this weekend, hopefully. All right, well, I'm gonna go sit on my butt and watch the news and I will check back in with you guys when I eat something. I totally accidentally set my under eyes with um, the leftovers of some black eyeshadow this morning. So if I look like I got punched in the face, that's why. So I'm on my way to the thrift store. Oh, fun. It burns me. I finished the intro for my kombucha video, so it will definitely be up this weekend. I feel like my face is black, so I can't stop looking at myself. Apologies. Um, but I'm going to go to the grocery store, the thrift store. The sun is in my face. So I'm going to go to the grocery store, the thrift store. Wait, reverse that. Thrift store, grocery store. There was some other place that I needed to go. And I was like, yes, yes, girl, please go there. And now I don't remember what it was. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm food struggling today. Multiple reasons. You know, lady time always makes me want all of the comfort foods. Um, also, my doctor telling me to go and eat gluten is making me want to eat gluten. And then the fact that I'm going to probably have a gain this week because of my lady times is like, you're going to have two whole weeks to recoup. You should go and eat all of the things and delicious. So I'm really, I'm really fighting inside of myself to not go ham on some ham. Also, I didn't eat breakfast today, not because I'm not hungry. I'm a little bit hungry, but mostly because I'm lazy and I didn't feel like cooking anything that would be substantial. So I decided instead I would just not eat and then eat a bigger lunch. <laughs> Best vlog ever. I don't know, guys. I'm just, I'm in a mood today. I'm in a mood. So I'm going to a thrift store that here in Georgia, they're called Value Village. I think other places they're called Savers, but it's more expensive, which is why we don't shop there for our shop. If you guys are new to our channel, um, I work from home. My husband and I have an eBay store where we sell uh, vintage stuff, stuff we find. We love to thrift and grocery, uh, grocery, <laughs> yard sale, yard sale and estate sale. We love old stuff. We love other people's things. So now we sell them on the internet. Um, so that's what I do from home. My husband, you know, works like a normal man job, but I, that's what I do from home. Uh, so I like to go out and thrift, but my problem is I also like things. And so sometimes I do not buy things for the shop and I just buy things for myself. All right. Well, I'm yakking my flap. So I'm going to check in with you guys when I get some food. It's most definitely 150% forecast of Chick-fil-A today. So put your chicken panties on. It's going to get delicious. What, what am I saying? All right, guys, I'm officially insulted. <laughs> um, I was really excited to go to Chick-fil-A because I have like a million Chick-fil-A coupons because I used to work for Chick-fil-A in college. So I have like a baggie full of like hundreds of coupons that I got when I worked there. And uh, so I went through the drive-thru and they said they won't use, they don't take paper coupons anymore because I'm old apparently. Um, so they only accept digital coupons. And I was like, what? So they wouldn't let me use my coupons. I still got food, because, you know, food. But they won't take my coupons. I'm so, so offended. And Chick-fil-A is usually like the best with customer service ever. And like we were told to like never let a customer leave upset. And I remember working there and I got, we got a paper coupon for a slice of pie that was from like when the stores opened. Like it was, the graphics were all old. Like you're supposed to take them. I'm offended. But anyway, I got an eight piece nugget and a chicken sandwich because I don't know which one I want. Um, either way, it's only, let's see, a chicken sandwich was 12 points and the nuggets were six. Since I haven't had anything to eat today, that's basically just two meals. Um, and then I got a diet lemonade for one smart point. So I think I should still have about nine or 10 points left for dinner, uh, which is plenty because I'm planning a vegetarian dish for dinner. Uh, so I'm pretty pumped to eat my chicken sandwich. What, what? I will insert a picture. I don't know if I'm gonna eat both. I might, I probably will, why not? I got some cute stuff at the thrift store. Um, I didn't spend a whole lot. I actually spent $3 at one store and I spent $4 at another one. I got a cute purse, I'll show you guys when I get home. And then I got a cute skirt from American Eagle. 
Um, I don't know if it fits because Value Village doesn't have dressing rooms. And also, I didn't know that on the last day of the month or Wednesday of the month, everything is 50% off. So it was like pandemonium in there. There was like, you know, people with their carts filled up to the sky and like people trying on stuff in the middle of the aisles because you can't try stuff on. Um, it was yikes so make yikes so and then I went to another one and they, they have the exact same policy so it's just I'm one of those people that doesn't like people in my personal space and especially if you're a stranger like I'm just like why are you so close to me and <laughs> I mean people like have no shame I'm like looking at a rack and a lady is bent down like at my crotch looking at shirts like with her whole body like in front of my crotch like leaning on me looking at shirts and I'm like can you just can you just step back for like 45 seconds and let me get past this little square of clothing and you can have this whole rack like you do not have to crotch check me in order to look at t-shirts homie like these are 50 cent t-shirts nobody's going home a winner so anyway that was my little thrift store rant I just I get very like mm, with people mm, in this place um <laughs> and then I went to a little farm stand that they have I always forget about it because probably because I the same reason I don't like it they have cute stuff but it's mostly for like people who are like, you know what, I'm gonna go to the farm stand and I'm gonna buy a $10 bar of soap and I'm gonna talk about how artisanal it is. That's the kind of place it is. If you wanna go in for like groceries and vegetables, eh, it's like hit or miss. Sometimes they have fresh stuff from like local farms. Most of the time it's going bad and it's not so good. Um, I really wanted some homemade sourdough. I don't know why, cause I could just make my own, but I just wanted to get a loaf of sourdough bread and uh, they didn't have sourdough bread so <laughs> so it was just a fail so I got bananas and I spent two dollars on like an ounce of loose leaf tea that I wanted to try but even if it's good I won't buy because it's expensive <laughs> Wee Wednesday all right guys well I'm gonna go home and I will check in with you in a bit That was delicious. I totally sat here and ate both things and then savored every delicious bite. Here is one of the things that gluten does to me is it makes me so sleepy. <laughs> every time I eat gluten, I'm like, I want a nap. I am so full. Sleepy, sleepy time. So that's one of the things that keeps me like I should avoid gluten. So I went and had and pre-tracked dinner and I should still have like six points left for the day. I'm, I don't know. I'm feeling like I missed something. So I might go double check. Um, but that's kind of good because then I can have some popcorn. But I just feel guilty because I ate Chick-fil-A. I ate fast food. I ate fried things. I ate bread. I feel guilty. I feel guilty. So this could be psychosomatic. But I have noticed that on days I... And I haven't had one of these in a while because it's honestly been so long since I've eaten fast foody kind of food. But on those days, it sets me into like a craving hole where like once I start, I don't want to stop. Um, like I haven't, luckily there's nothing in my house really that I can go just crazy on that isn't pretty low points. So thank God my house is like Cherie proof at this point. But I... I'm craving hard and I and I don't it's I don't think it's just you know because it's today I think it's because I have my mind set on a craving I gave into the craving and now I'm like on a like a let's eat everything roller coaster it is so bad <laughs> like I was just thinking I was like maybe I have time to drive and get a donut before Chris gets home because I don't want to tempt him. You know, I don't want I don't want to pull him down to my level. But I was like, yeah. Because I also, I, I didn't get something that was on my grocery list. I was like, yeah, so maybe I should just run to the store real quick. And then, you know, also get donuts. I just, but I'm not going to do it. But it's just, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I need to be careful, I think. Because um, I'm, I'm doing so good on my downswing. And I can feel like a screw everything binge coming. I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm already thinking like how I can work Chinese food in. Like it's bad. It is bad. It's real bad. So I don't know if everyone else is like that, but me personally, if I, I'm better when I eat boring. I'm better when I eat the same thing every day 
or like the same two or three things. Like I have this is these are the three things I could have for breakfast. These are the three things I could have for lunch. This is you know the things. I'm so much better when I have that kind of plan because when I go off plan, I don't just go a little bit off. I don't. I just jump head first into everything. <laughs> so I'm fighting really hard. I only have 16 weeklies left, which isn't bad. They start over Friday, and I only have to survive tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this is this will be the first week I've come so close to eating all my weeklies. So it's just it's not been the best food week. So I will not be surprised if I have a gain Friday. But I don't know. Just wanted to share them, share them fill-ins with you because this video is not long enough of me talking already. So <laughs> let me just make it a little longer. Waiting for dinner in the oven. So I'm having a nectarine. The real sweet and good and delicious. Zero points. All right. So dinner. I've got. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to count this as a whole potato because it's split it with my husband. But i got potatoes, grilled chicken, and asparagus. And I'm going to finish up my diet lemonade. Um, so I think this is going to be like 8 or 9 points. I don't know. I'll put that down below. Alright guys, I'm going to end my video here. Um, I did eat ugh, the last serving of my gluten-free Annie's cookies. These are 5 smart points. And then I ate one serving of raw cashews for 5 smart points. So I went into my weeklies. I have nine weeklies <laughs> left um, for tomorrow or to not use or whatever. So tomorrow I probably should try and go to the gym because I feel like today was not the best food day. It wasn't the worst, but it definitely wasn't the best. Also, super chatty, super long. You know me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, don't forget to tune in tomorrow for Celia's video, and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye! <laughs> Bye!